Do you have a new telescope and the only thing you can see through the eyepiece it's a big donut with a black thing at the middle? Don't worry, I will show you how to fix that. This video is dedicated for total beginners to learn how to properly focus the telescope, whether it's with an eyepiece, whether it's with a camera. The donut shape image you see, it's only the reflection of the primary mirror on the secondary mirror. If you look through the top of your telescope, you will see first the secondary mirror, the little one, and then at the bottom you will see the primary mirror, the large one. If you look through the focuser without inserting any eyepiece or camera, you will see that real image. And if you insert an eyepiece or camera into the focuser and you still see that big donut shape, that's because you're out of focus. There's nothing wrong with your telescope, it's just that you have to focus. And to fix that, to get focus, you just have to move the focuser up or down. To do that, you have to turn the wheels anti-clockwise or clockwise. There's only two ways to do it. So, you want that donut to be smaller. So the right direction will be the one that turns the donut smaller. If you turn the wheel to one direction and the donut gets larger, you have to turn it the opposite direction. And the situation that happened many times is that you are turning the focuser up or out and the donut gets smaller and smaller in the right direction but the focuser reach a limit and you can't go further. In case that happens you will have to insert an extension like the one that you are seeing now. With it you will get more distance to reach the focal plane. And then you keep turning the focuser wheel until that donut becomes a beautiful star. Did you receive your first telescope and you are wondering how to play with it? I will show you the first very basic steps a beginner should take when in contact for the first time with a telescope. But if you already are an experienced user, stay with us because I have a nice tip for you later in the video. One of the first silly things I did, and probably you will do once in a while, it's to forget to take off the cap of the telescope. So you have a cap on the top of the telescope and you have to take it out to watch through the telescope. If you forget to do that, you will see all dark. You want to avoid straight light when placing the telescope. For instance, neighbor's light, street LED lights or any other intrusive light that you have around you should be avoided. So place it in the best way possible. The telescope I'm using for this demonstration is an 8-inch Dobsonian telescope which I love and it's very user-friendly. The movement is very simple, it's just up, down left and right, which they called alt azimuth movements. Altitude up and down, azimuth left and right. But you want those movements to be smooth. To control the azimuth movement, the left and right, you have a knob at the base of the telescope you want to tight if the telescope is moving too fast. However, you don't want to tight it too much because like that it will be difficult for the telescope to move. So try to feel the movement. Connect with your telescope. Move it left and right slowly and see a smooth movement. But you want the same smoothness to the altitude bearings. So you will do the same but now with the two knobs. They are at the left and at the right of the rocker. You will tighten them just enough to have a smooth movement up and down. Again, feel the movement, feel the telescope. At the end, you will move left and right up and down and you will know feeling that the movement is the correct movement. 
if your telescope doesn't have the knobs and instead have some springs, just lock the springs and use it as is. In these situations there are tricks to have a good balance of the tube. I talk about that in another video. It's very important to have a commitment with your telescope. One thing that I do a lot and this is a tip not only for beginners but also for advanced users is to be sitting around the telescope and just watching the telescope and thinking. Put your neurons working. If you're a beginner you will think how the telescope works, how the light enters, how it bumps on the primary mirror etc etc and the experienced guys and girls can think in ways to improve and things that you can do with your telescope. What to upgrade, what will benefit you, what you will see tonight in the sky and so on. When practicing this exercise, not only you increase the commitment with your telescope, but also your brain will work much better in a positive way, which will benefit you and your connection with the universe. Probably the eyepieces that came with your telescope are a 10mm eyepiece and a 25mm eyepiece. Start with a 25. It will give you a larger field of view, so you will see more stars but more distant. Therefore more tiny. But that's easier to do. Take the caps off the eyepiece, don't touch with the fingers in the lenses and insert the eyepiece into the focuser. Tight the focuser screw in order to have the eyepiece fixed. And now pay attention how to move the telescope. To move left and right you grab the top of the telescope and place the end more or less at the middle of the tube. And with the left end at the top you move left and right, nice and steady. And to move the telescope up and down you will use the same left hand. However, this time the right hand at the middle of the tube will help you to give some weight when moving the telescope up. To move it down is easier because of the gravity. This is the best way and the simpler way to move this telescope. A common mistake that beginners do sometimes though is to grab the eyepiece or the focuser with the left hand and move the telescope with it. It happens because when we are watching an object we tend to place the hand at the focuser. And then to move as the hand is already there we force to move the telescope. But that's wrong. Get used to use the hand at the top of the telescope.